Hey folks, this is Jason, N5NU. I'm here in Fort Boggy State Park today doing a POTA activation. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today, so stay tuned. So I've got my usual setup here at Fort Boggy on the park bench overlooking the pond. I'm about 40 feet up on a hill. I've got my Delta Loop here uh, fed by ladder line, and it is going straight into a tuner here uh, with the vice grip handles. But I've got something new today that I've been working on. Uh, it's a two element wire Yagi for 20 meters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see today how they sound one compared to the other. All right, I've got a few notes here I'd like to share with you before we get too far into this. I've got two antennas I'm comparing, like I mentioned. We are portable in a state park. I've got a Delta Loop that's about 125 feet long. The top of it's about 40 feet up in an oak tree. It is broadside northeast and southwest. The two element wire Yagi that I have is cut for 20 meters. The elements are seven feet apart. It's uh, awfully close. It's about a tenth of a wavelength. And it is sloping downward from a tree. It's about like this. It's about a 45 degree angle. The uh, top of it is about 32 feet up. The bottom of it's about seven feet off the ground. The uh, feed point of it is about 18 to 20 feet high. It is fed uh, with a hairpin match and a one-to-one -one ballon and 50 ohm line. So um, it is fixed northeast. Both of these antennas should uh, exhibit gain in the same direction. That was the uh, kind of the point of this experiment. The video features stations that are northeast of here primarily. Uh, and so we're looking at gain in that direction. Uh, this antenna has quite a bit of rejection off of the sides, but that's not uh, that's not what we're looking at today. So just a couple ground rules and things for you to know. The Yagi. The loop. Touching S9 on the loop. The Yagi. November 4th, November Oscar Kilo. Roger, Roger. Thank you for that. You're a good 5'9", 10 over in Tennessee. Over. November 8th, Hotel Oscar, Quebec. QSL to 5'9++, here 5'9", 10 into St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri, Roger. Kilo Golf 8, Hotel Zulu. Roger, you're 5'9". Yes, good evening. Kilo, Kilo 4, Alpha Delta, Quebec. Uh, you're 5'9", tonight. Hey, thanks for the park. And I am in Vermont, Victor Tango. Uh, I appreciate it, thanks. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm actually using one of those K6 ARK and halfway. I just built it. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Victor Golf. Okay, thanks. You're 59 Georgia, and I have a second operator, 73. Is the Yagi? Yogi. The loop. 
Loop. Loop. Kentucky. Yagi. Loop. Yagi. I'm on a loop. A loop. Yagi. Loop. Yagi. On the Yagi. A loop. Loop. Yagi. About the same. On the Yagi. Loop. Yagi. Yagi. A loop. Loop. Yagi. Yagi. Loop. So, uh, what do I think about all of this? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I uh, know that the uh, lobes on a two element and on a delta loop are both pretty wide, which is great for POTA. Uh, really, the stations I noticed that were f more to the east and to the north, those stations were a little bit more equal on the two antennas, but the stations uh, really more to the northeast directly where uh, there was a little bit more difference in those signals. Uh, I noticed that uh, some of these stations were essentially equal and some of them were there was a huge difference or and there's a couple that were actually nearly unworkable on the loop but you could hear them okay on the Yagi. I have some bonus footage for you from Echo Charlie One Romeo. I uh, was recording the contact with him unknown to me. He was recording his end as well so I thought it was pretty cool. You can see what this sounds like from uh, from his end from Texas to Spain. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. 73 to you from N5 in you. Can you see what are? Hello. Hello?